What's going on guys? Good morning. Launching out here in uh, San Francisco Bay. We're going out on the ocean today, out the Golden Gate. You know what we're doing. We're targeting big salmon. That's all I keep talking about, right? Middle of October now, only a few more weeks left in the season. And I haven't got my 20 pounder yet this year. Probably, I mean, if you're counting shakers, I'm sure we've gotten 40 fish on the boat this year. A few 19 pounders. I want a 25 pounder. That's the only thing on my mind today. So follow me out there. Let's see if we can accomplish this goal. Time's running out. Boat's in the water. Solo today. Make it even more epic if we can catch a big one, huh? Just gorgeous out, no wind. Swell's like three feet today. 12 seconds, but no wind. Can't wait to get out there. I'll catch you guys back at the salmon grounds. Probably take some cool shots on the way out. Okay, we made it. We're out here at Stinson Beach area, Duxbury, uh, Marine County Coast. You guys don't know where that is yet. Um, so yeah, a little choppy coming out here. You can see it right now. I mean, conditions are fine. Swell's like four feet at 12 seconds. Wind's supposed to only be like two, three miles per hour, but it made it so you can only go like 15 to 22 miles per hour on the whole way out. So from launch to here a good hour to get out here so found all the boats tons of commercial guys out here i always like being around them i mean they're professionals they do this for a living so they know where some fish are at let's drop down let's find that big one all right glow in the dark crippled anchovy with our pyramid chartreuse flasher I have no reason to change what I use. So it's the same thing every time. And I recommend the same thing. Find something you got confidence in, catch some, catch some fish on it. And that's what it's gonna look like. We got one hook going each way, rubber band holding on the bottom one little slight bend. It's already really bright out, huh? Can you guys see? So you always want to check your line. See how your rotation looks, your spin. I'm going to go a little bit more bend. Get a little bit more rotation on it. I set mine back farther than most people. I just like to get away from the boat. So I do maybe 40 to 50 feet. So we're gonna fish, I would say between 33 and 49 feet. Let's start off at uh, 44 feet. We're gonna go ahead and turn on the underwater cam now. Uh, we did a whole run going north. I had the sun behind me and I think the camera might work better with the sun in front of us, you know, not putting a reflection on it. We'll see. Um, nothing to report yet. I've seen a party boat catch one fish, you know, one net drop. That's it, it's pretty quiet on the radio. No private guys are getting into them yet, it sounds like. Um, so yeah, we'll just keep trying. I'm gonna start heading back down south now, more towards Duxbury. We went north of it. So this is why the underwater camera is so cool. Check out what happens here. Without the camera down there, you never really know what happens. So I have it synced with me up on the boat with the camera down below. Take a look.
guys see that? I got one. I lifted it off the downrigger. Wow, we're on, guys. That fish was not on when I took it off the downrigger. Hopefully that camera was still running. Now the fun part, doing this solo. slow down a little bit more so remember we got barbless hooks on so I got to keep the line tight at all times while moving around the boat here and you'll see my rod tip always keeping at least a little flex in it keeping it tight okay so the hardest part when you're not moving is getting the fish not in the motor here so ideally I want it on this side over here if we can do this. I want to try and turn the... Oh, and the hook is out. Wow. Looks like a nine pound male. Yes. Camera is still going underwater, so we'll have that footage. All right, let's weigh them. I guess it's about nine pounds. Maybe nine and a half. You guys see that? Nine pounds about, right on. Man, I feel so lucky to get one. And sometimes it's just like the weird things that make it happen. It's a really slow bite out here. Everyone on the radio, no one's I heard anyone catch one. Everyone just says, no, no, it's slow. So I'm just checking the line, flip it off the clip on the downrigger. Just being casual, holding it. I don't know, I was daydreaming. All of a sudden I got a fish on. Unreal. And the underwater cam's on. So I'm sure that footage was cool. Um, salty lady, they just got one here. So, dead on, nine pounds, right? Predicted that one. It's pretty easy for me now because I keep catching nine pounders. A lot of eight, nine pound males in the system here right now. Uh, so they're getting ready to go up the river, I guess. I mean, you can tell by the way they're looking, their noses are changing. So he's just starting to change right there. on big one you know we got one more you know I'll take any salmon but of course we want to be a big one it's time that's why I'm out here get a big salmon you guys see all the commercial boats out today there's been tons of them I think the season ends for them pretty soon I'm always curious what it's like out on one of those boats. How many do they catch? 
I mean, of course, every day is different, but like a day like today, they're everywhere. All right, waiting for that last fish. It's about 11 o'clock now. We'll give it a few more hours. What limits? Want that big one? It's starting to clear up, get a little nicer, choppy wise. Water smoothing out a little bit. It's funny how it does that. You know, in a lake, the water is always glassy in the morning. It's funny in the ocean. It feel like it's always a little choppy when you first get out, six, seven in the morning. Then once the sun gets out, you know, eight, nine o'clock, that's when it's usually nicest on the ocean. Um, definitely the case today. Then towards the afternoon, when the wind always picks back up. I'm messing around with all the depths, trying to figure out where they're at. I feel like um, the fish I caught, you know, that was higher up. And then that little one I had on, I think he was a little higher up too, so. Come on, big one. Just reeled it up. We got bit. I got the underwater cam all charged up. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it back on again. So we can see when this kind of stuff happens what's going on down there dang it The boat was turning real sharp, but we had another shaker on eight inch or salmon. Underwater cams off, so I guess we got to see him bite. All right, guys, I'm about to call it it's just after one o'clock. I haven't heard of or seen a fish in hours. It's pretty dead out here. Boat's kind of leaving. Maybe I'll see something on the way in, makes me want to stop, but if not, we're heading in. We got one nice uh, salmon, nine pounder have some good meat on it so uh hey can't complain for middle october didn't get our big one yet what does that mean gotta keep trying <laughs> so i'll be out here again more salmon videos to come hopefully for that big monster we'll have to keep trying but uh hey i hope you guys like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more and i'll catch you guys on the next one later